Hi, welcome back to another video. Uh, again, I'm going to be all zoomed in for this one. Um, I'm going to show you how to set up an alert using the... I, I've got a sensor set at home, so I'm going to use the, the sensor. I'm going to use the app rather than the if this then that. So um, I've uh, already connected the sensor and I've called it stairs. So we'll uh, try and zoom in on that one. There we go. So uh, what I want to do is... I'll log into my stair sensor, so this is just retrieving information in regards to when I set the sensor off this morning at uh, 7 o'clock in the morning um, so what I want to do is I can tap here to rename it but I don't want to rename it just yet and I want to get an alert so I'm going to set the sensor so I can actually set this to send me an alert all the time so whenever the sensor goes off it will set an alert or between certain times so if I know I'm setting off in the morning at 8 o'clock um, I know I want to set off so anytime because I will be out of the house by 8 so I want it to set me an alert anytime between 8 o'clock and then I'm not going to get back until let's say let's say 6 o'clock there we go so and then I can set the day so um, the day is Monday So there's my times, select the days. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday because I'm in on Saturday and Sunday so I don't need it to set these alerts. So now it's going to send me an alert anytime the trigger senses between these times on any of these days and then do I want to receive alerts? So yes I do. Um, and it's that simple. Alternatively I can switch it to always and whenever it send senses whenever the sensor is triggered it can then send me an alert so if you were to put the sensor in maybe a house a holiday home that you have that you don't use very often you can set the sensor up in that or maybe a caravan or anything like that so those features there and then you can monitor when this goes off so I can track things so if I had a uh, an animal in the house if I had a dog but the dog wasn't supposed to go upstairs and I'd shut it downstairs, I can set an alert to send me, uh, uh, when the sensor's triggered, it will send me an alert to tell me that the dog's actually escaped. Um, and all that's available from the dashboard in the app itself. All right, I'll, uh, I'll show you how to do some more with the sensors in the If This Then That in the next video.